Good morning and a uh, great start to the week after a very wet and soggy Easter holiday weekend. So I hope you had a good break anyway. Um, when I was a kid, I can remember thinking, you know, rich people, rich people had uh, a thing called kitchen roll in their kitchens. They had a roll on the sides just for the kitchen. I thought that was amazing. Uh, now people have to have like two cars and that sort of thing. But rich people, in my opinion, have uh, walking wardrobes. And guess what? We now have a walk-in wardrobe. You may have seen the updates over the weekend. But uh, what was laughingly called Bedroom 4 when we uh, bought the cottage, uh, not big enough, it's about 1.7 metres by 4.5. It's You can get a bed in there, but it's more like a cell than a bedroom. So we now have a walk-in wardrobe. So I think we've arrived. I think we've truly arrived in life now. We have kitchen roll and we have a walk-in wardrobe. So life is good. Anyway, question for you. Um, what do you do? What do you do when things don't go to plan, you don't get the contract, you don't get the booking, the client cancels, or something happens in the business that is not in your you know, best interest. What do you do with bad news? How do you get over these sort of tough times? And there's a couple of things. First of all, you know, the cavalry's not coming. Uh, they're not going to come and nobody's going to come to your rescue. We've got to do it ourselves. We can't go and get a job because whether we like it or not, uh, we're all unemployable and probably at the uh, different age bracket now. No, but my phone's not going to ring to go and get a job unless it's a greeter at the supermarket or something. I'm not quite ready for that. So we can't get a job the cavalry's not coming uh and we've got to figure it out ourselves and this happens to everybody it happens to us we all don't every week isn't paradise in everybody's business so what do you do when you don't get the results you want and for me i start to realize i think of the well why are we doing this and i remember starting our own business i'm going back 20 whatever years ago 25 maybe 30 years ago now I didn't start my business with a, a vision and a passion and a drive and a why and a purpose and some you know world changing, uh, amazing you know, picture on the fridge door. We started our own company because we were sick and tired of working for some idiot uh, in another business or doing we're working hard for the people, making them all the money. We do all the hours, got no recognition. It was no fun with working with people we didn't like, didn't want to be around. So we went from working for an idiot. Now we're working for a complete psychopath because we're working for ourselves. But I'm not prepared to go back and I'm, I wouldn't go back anyway. So the purpose of why we run our business, that's evolved over time. But the reason we did it was to get away from working for some other clown in a company. So remember that you're not going to go back to it. That's why you started it in the first place. The universe and the market will work in your favor. I was literally on a call this morning. And uh, as we're talking over a, a Zoom call, um, my client, an email popped up. And it was like, wow, an email's come in from a prospect and it had been like 12 months since they'd been in touch before and they come through. And he said, I was really wasn't expecting that. Well, of course, what happens is we do all our activity, our good work. We look after people, do good things. That spreads then people contact us. We've got to trust the universe, if you like, that good things are going to happen. If a client leaves or they don't get the booking or they don't sign the contract, there's another one coming. There just is. There's another one coming. You haven't bet, met bet, You haven't met your best client yet. So bear that in mind. When things get tough, it's okay to have a five minute pity party and go and, you know, metaphorically kick the dog. Don't kick any dogs. But go and, you know, punch the wall or scream at a pillow or whatever you want to do. But actually, we all know, even given bad news, we've got to get back on the horse, get back in the game and good things will happen. So whatever happens in your business or in your life, get back on the horse, keep focused, keep doing the activity, keep doing what you do best and miraculously things will happen. So there's a pleasant thought for the week. I hope that's been interesting and helpful. Have a great week. The sun was out a minute ago uh, in Luxembourg this afternoon, Luxembourg during the week as well. See you on Zoom, see you on calls and uh, have a great week. Let me know your posts, get me know your thoughts. I'll see you real soon. But uh, for now, uh, I'll sign up and leave you to it. Bye for now.